Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Eleanor McGarry and I'm an independent Stamina Up demonstrator in Canada. And today I'm going to show you some projects that I made, some cards using the artistically inked stamp set, as well as the I will be using the matching matching dies that come in the bundle. If you buy the artistically inked suite, which is what I'm working with, you are also going to get the ephemera pack, which comes with, um, this is the negative um, part of the foil sheets that you'll get. You'll get six of these sheets in there, and you just pop out these laser cut um, pegs and leaves, and I'll show you a little bit of that later on in the video, but you will get six sheets of this in the ephemera pack, as well as um, you will also get these, they're clear, so you could use them the way they are, just the, the, with the clear look, or you can take your um, Stampin' Blends and add color to match your project. And of course, in the bundle, or the artistically inked suite, you will also get the designer series paper, which you will get um, 12 designs because there's six sheets, six sheets double sided. So there's the gold and white, which is really beautiful and understated and elegant. You could use it for weddings or for masculine cards. And on the back is just kind of a watercolory polished stone look. This is in pale papaya. And then the flower side, flower design, you can see there's a little bit of gold. You can see so beautiful. And the other side is more of the watercolor splashy kind of look. There's another color there. This is shaded spruce. And the other side, you can see again, the gold. This is Magenta Madness with a bit of the gold. And then the other side is just Pear Papaya and Magenta Madness. And then more flowers on these two papers with a bit of the gold. And again, there's Shaded Spruce and Pear Pizzazz. And the other side of that is more Shaded Spruce with a bit of the gold as well. So I will be using these um, products in the card and the card that I'm going to be showing you today is this one. See I have a little bit of the ephemera there and the, and the sequins there. So let's get going. I just wanted to show you quickly what the foil sheets look like. You'll get five of them in the pack and you just simply pop out the die cuts. They're already a uh, pre um, cut for you. So you'll get tags and frames and leaves lots of options to use for later projects. And then at the very end, you're left with this negative um, five by seven gold frame that I'm gonna show you. Don't throw that away because I'm gonna show you how to use that with your project. It doesn't have to be thrown out. You can still use it. And I will show you that in the coming segments. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and glue the designer series paper onto our white card. And I've written down the measurements for you on the screen so you can see. But they're also gonna be on my blog. So you can write them down later on. Um, the blog address is down below in the description. And as you guys all know, I'm a liquid glue girl. Glue girl. So let's bring in our craft sheet and um, go ahead and Add some liquid glue onto the back of our pattern paper. Liquid glue is just my choice. Of course, everyone has their own preference. So if you like stamp and seal, that's great as well. I use it sometimes, but really for the most part, I just use the liquid glue and I can position it right onto my card where I want it like that and it can still move around. And the next step that I did was, this is the open weave ribbon. This is polished pink, but it goes so well with magenta madness, which is what the color is on the paper. And the way I, I do my ribbon is, um, just grab my scissors here. I just cut a little bit that I know will be long enough to fit the project. And then I just use 
good old tape. So just go ahead and align it to where you want it and then tape it to the back. And same for the other side. Tape it to the back. And the greeting goes down here, and the greeting that I used was best wishes. So let's bring in our memento black. Go ahead and ink up. I always like to stamp on scrap just to see what it looks like. Okay, looks good to me. Go ahead and stamp that on the bottom right of your card. And then remember the ephemera pack head gold sheets keep the negative like I did here because you can use that so what I do is I just cut out the insides because you don't really need that you're just going to use it as a frame to frame your work so it's like a little gold layer so you're gonna go ahead and glue it like that First, to do one side of the card so you know that you're only going to add glue to the back of the card on the top and on the sides. So let's go ahead and do that. Just on the sides and the top. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and glue it so you have an even border of gold all the way around like so. And then you're going to take your scissors, just make sure it's all even there. And then just snip off. Because why throw out the negative part of that sheet when it's still usable? Then you're gonna do the same on the other side and glue it down that way. So let's do that. to the top like so now, the mess on the side there see there's glue you can just wipe that off so it's very easy to clean that's why you need your craft sheet right underneath because you're going to use that to clean you get whatever glue it goes on your craft sheet it kind of balls up and then later on you can just scratch it off and then you're going to cut on the end. And again on there. So now you've turned that negative piece of gold that you would have thrown out into a layer. Now we're going to start to create the components to our card. We're going to do die cut the flowers and the leaves. And we're going to color in the sequence. So the colors that we're going to need for the flowers and leaves are magenta madness, pale papaya, and granny apple green. Let's go ahead and get those ready. And we're going to go ahead and stamp on our white So the magenta flower oops there you go kind of dropped that but still works out fine and then the smaller flower is in pale papaya And of course we have our leaves in granny apple green and 
and the single leaf as well. You need one of that. And then we're gonna cut all that using our stamp and emboss machine. And I've already done that for you. So here are the components that we're gonna be using. And of course, we're gonna use one of the um, foil leaves from the ephemera pack. And then the other thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and color in our um, little gems here that came in the pack. On our sample card, we have three of them, but one of them, the middle one, is colored in green, can you see? So I use my Stampin' Blends, the Granny Apple Green one, and just go ahead and color one of them. And we're gonna use that later on. So continuing on with the card, we want to add some color to the center of our flower. So I just use a Stampin' Sponge. These are retired now, but I still use mine. You know, if you have these, go ahead and use them. So just sponging in some Granny Apple Green ink to the center. And then one of the stamps in the stamp set is this little polka dot stamp. So I just take that, ink it up in Granny Apple Green and just stamp it to get a little bit of detail in the center. So now let's go ahead and put the card together. This is our sample card here. And as you know, I like to just go ahead and have that in front of me and then try and copy it as best as I can using my glue. The fastest way that I like to do is just go ahead and blob. Let's put some tape onto that ribbon first because no one's gonna see it anyway. And then I just go ahead and put glue on there because I know that's where I'm gonna want this flower. And I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere it like that. And then now I know where I want to add all the other components because I have that central figure to kind of copy or use as my guide. I'm adding flowers to the, sorry, I'm adding glue to the back of the leaves. And I think I want to put this, oops, just right there. You can go ahead and have it go outside of the gold because don't forget, we're gonna layer that to a bigger piece of white still. And then of course, um, this goes here. The pale papaya flower goes up here and I pop that up with some dimensionals. So let's go ahead and add a couple of them. And our take your pick tool. Go ahead and put that right there. And then of course, last but not the least, you have your gold leaves. See, the nice thing about a handmade card is no two are gonna ever look the same. As you can tell, these look a little bit different. The pattern paper on here was in a different part of the sheet. So I got pink, or not pink, magenta madness through the entire length of it and on here the bottom is more white and the magenta and the gold is only on the top so that's the beauty of handmade cards no two will ever be the same so now let's do the sequins and go ahead and grab that two clear ones i had one and then one up here. Of course, your last step is to go ahead and glue it to your base card, which is gonna be white. So let's go ahead and get that all glued to our card, our base card. And there you have your finished card. 
and I have made five other, or four, four or five. I Let's see, one, two, three, five more cards, which I shall show you. Now I'm gonna show you the other cards that I made using the set. Here's one that I did um, using pattern paper on the bottom. And on the top here, that is just a craft or crumb cake paper. And this stamp here, that marbly kind of blob there, I stamped it on the crumb cake using craft white pigment ink. So you can see it there. And I put little pearls on these flowers. These flowers here is the stamp and the die, the die set that comes with the uh, bundle. We'll cut those each separately. So there's one card. And then here's another card that I use a different uh, color this time, a shaded spruce. This is the pattern paper that I put underneath. And then this is the, again, the open weave ribbon, the flowers in magenta madness, pale papaya, and the leaves are in shaded spruce. The hello greeting is from the stamp set, right there. This one here, I used the negative part of the dies, the little pocket card, and the dies, die cuts are kind of glued underneath. You can also add a little gift card in there if you want. And again, the gems I colored in with our Stampin' Blends. And then I wanted to make a masculine card. I, I know I know this is a flower-themed stamp set, but I kind of challenged myself to use it to make a masculine card, and this is what I came up with. So this is one of the new um, 3D embossing folders. And again, here, that's just white cardstock, and I stamped it using slate gray with that um, stamp right there. Just very simple, understated, thanks in black memento ink. And then this one here, I um, use the background is the textured textiles embossing folder. And I kind of added ink directly onto the folder. If you open it up, I just tapped on there, spritz it with a little bit of water, sandwich my white paper in there and run it through my stamp and cut and emboss machine to get the background. And this here, greeting, comes from a stamp set, one of the newer ones called Many Messages, and it has a matching die that cuts all that out together. So once you've um, stamped it and cut it out, you end up with a whole bunch of like greetings that are ready to use. This one, because I had the card in Blackberry Bliss, I stamped it in Versamark and embossed in white, and then I just ran it through my Stampin' Cut emboss machine and then I had all these greetings ready to use for future projects. So here are all the cards that I made using the set and of course this is the sample card that we had earlier. I hope you can see all those. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will have all this on my blog and I will have the instructions to create all these cards, the extra ones. As a tutorial on my blog however if you buy a $50 fifty dollars worth of items from my online store I will email you the tutorial for free the only thing is you have to use the host code that I have on the screen there and again don't forget to subscribe just click the red button on the bottom right of the screen I hope you have a good day and I hope you enjoyed the video take care We'll catch you in the next video.